This channel's content is intended for people over the age of 13. If you are under that age, please leave now. Thank you. Just to let yous know, there's a ton of swearing in this video, so listen up, beware. Alright you mad fannies and fuds, welcome to another review by yours truly, Craigs. Alright, how you doing? Well, I'm here to talk to you about control. Control, well... What is it? Let's get right into this bad boy. Control is a fairly strange title set in a massive building called the Oldest House. And it's under the control of the Federal Bureau of Control. Whatever the hell that actually means. You control, no pun intended, a woman called Jessie Faden. And she's came to this old house to look for her missing brer. And she has a wee interview with the big boss man and the big boss man turns out to be dead. So you walk in at the big boss man's house and you take his wee mad gun that can turn into other wee mad guns and then you become the big boss woman. Sure I missed something but we get the boss man's gun right and then off we go in this mad wee man mission one level mission a la Resident Evil. You remember that old game the first gen? The second one, more the first one because you can't really go back in the second one too much. But you can when you're in the place I'm getting distracted, okay? Yes. You could compare it to Zelda or Dark Siders, but I felt it was more like a Resident Evil. It's a bit more, it's, it's a bit more sci-fi, but it's got horror. And you get these mad force powers. Jesse's actually a Padawan learner, right? With the Jedi Order, shut your face. And the gun, as I said before, can change into other types of guns, like a shotgun and a charge beam gun thingy and a rocket launcher. It's pretty cool, actually. But you only get the one gun, essentially, right? So the game is for Remedy, who made the Max Payne titles famously, but not the third Max Payne game up, Rockstar. Don't know how all that happened, but it did. So aye. And uh, what else did they make? Oh, I Quantum Break. If you don't remember Quantum Break, don't feel too bad because nobody remembers it because it was shite. Well, it was the shite, but aye, okay, it was shite. Fuck it, it was shite. Luckily this game is no pish despite what you might hear on the internet of things. Well, everyone is entitled to their opinion, even if they are wrong. <laughs> yeah. uh, of course um, would you take me for a fanny? Well, aye. Right, I really, really like this game of control. I had no idea what I was getting into when I booted the game up. It's an FTV third person shooter and the shooting of peoples and other things is extremely satisfying, no? And for me that's really half the battle for enjoyment of any game, is the gameplay. There's nothing better than getting that throwy things ability in scudding a bin, or a table, or indeed a fucking park bench right off some cunt's dome. Built It's also a fairly big game with plenty of odd locales to explore. But bear in mind it is all set in this old house place, so the levels could be a wee bit more varied though. No? They all have this sort of matrix reloaded, washed out communist look to them. So, you know, I, st I still do like the feel of this old house. It's very creepy and atmospheric. Plenty of wee secrets in that to hunt down to, which is always nice, isn't it? It's always a bonus to get a wee bonus. No microtransactions that I can see either. They're another bonus for you. You can pick up wee upgrade points for yourself and your gun and all the gun types. They aren't the most interesting but it's nice they are there. You can also upgrade your guns to hold maybe wee boost things. I think you can, it's up to three. You can also change Jesse's clothing if you do so wish. But I didn't bother because the uh, ones that I've got unlocked are not all that interesting truth be told. There are also massive epic boss battles. Which um, I'd normally roll my bloody eyes at, but you know, they're no bad, they're no too difficult either, and they're, they're interesting to look at, weird as fuck, eh? Right now, as good as I think this game is, it does have some problemos, of course. Frame rate being key, being the number one fucking problem of this game is the frame rate. It can really slow down in intense gun battles when you've got... You get the fucking particles and the bits and the, and the bits of wood and the splinters and but the particle effects in this game are stoting by the way. Brilliant. Highly, oh yeah, brilliant. Right, uh, what else? What else? Where am I? Right, there seems to be a huge problem with uh, slow down. If you pause the game and unpause it, it'll stutter for a few seconds and it'll do the same 
if you're in the upgrade menu. Remedy, sort yourself out, son. As I was saying, the locations are all pretty similar looking, still cool, but aye. I guess that's the danger when you set a game in the same building the whole time. The story, for me personally, was kind of hard to follow. I don't know if that's just me being a big fucking idiot or I, or if it's just a, the, the, the game story's a bit pish. I'd say a wee bit of both, no? So, I, I don't think this game's going to get a sequel because it didn't sell well, which is a damn shame. Maybe it'll become one of these cult classics, but I really, I really liked it and I highly recommend it. If you're a Remedy fan, get it. If you're a Shooter fan, get it. And it's also good if you just, just fucking buy the game, alright, so we can get a follow-up. Right, I'm off. See you in the next vid. Peace. <laughs>